Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub. I'm Ziol Munim. I'm the founder of Research Hub. In a previous lecture, I mentioned that we can use ChatGPT or other generative AI tools in research support. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use ChatGTP in research support. I'm going to cover mainly four examples. So first one is interpreting a reviewer comment. Then we will look into explaining an R script, R script and then explaining an error in R, and then implementing a regression model in R. So let's get started. So here I am on my ChatGPT window. I'm using the ChatGPT4. And here, so I can uh, paste any comments or uh, any guidelines, any prompts uh, to get some outcome. We were working on a paper where we submitted the paper to the Journal of Computers and Industrial Engineering, and we got some reviewer feedback. And this is how normally how we respond to the reviewer feedbacks. So we put the comments of the reviewers in one column and we put the author response in uh, another column. But let's say, let's ignore the author response. So let's say this was our reviewer comment and we were not really sure what it means, okay? So what we could do is we could come here and we could just copy paste. So we could say, interpret the following text in the context of machine learning because this paper is about machine learning application. And then I simply put the full comment that we got from the reviewer, okay? And then if I enter, we'll see that we will get a very nice explanation of the comment, okay? So, yeah, that's something ChatGP helps us a lot to understand different things which might be confusing to us. So it's not only about reviewer comments, anything you don't understand, you can just copy paste here and you will get a good explanation. So that's one of the great uses of ChatGPT. Now I'm going to show you how it can help us to understand some codes also, okay? So now I'm going to look into an example of an R code. So here, let's say this is my R script. Okay, so we start with install packages and then we load the package using the library. And then here we have some commands to run auto RE map forecasting. But let's say we did, do not know what these commands mean and how this works, okay? So I copy pasted this script and I just added the following here that explained the following R script. And let's go. So then we will see it gives us some very nice interpretation of the commands, you know, why we use the install packages command, why we use the library commands, how this part of the code work, okay? So this can really help us to understand things that might seem complicated. And normally it gives us in a, gives us explanation in a very simple way, as you can see here, okay? It picks up every point and explain every function and every operator in the R script. Now let's say when you were doing some coding, it could be an R, it could be Python, it could be anything, you know? And let's say you get some, you keep getting some error and it might be difficult for you to find the answer. You might have to Google a lot to find the answer, you know? So instead of doing that, you might just copy paste it here. So for example, here I put this comma that when I uh, try to get this using this command, I'm getting this error. So how can I really solve it? So let's see what it gives us. So it really gives us in a very structured way the things we can do to consider resolving the error, okay? So I really find it very useful, you know, when uh, I'm stuck with something, I don't know how to proceed and I really get, uh, I can really use ChatGPT to get clarifications on different things. One final thing I would like to try to show you is that, you know, we can use ChatGPT to generate codes for uh, implementing a regression or machine learning or anything, you know, different types of things in R or Python, also in any other software as SPSS, as Tata. So we can actually ask ChatGPT how can we implement something in the different software. So I'm going to use an example where I ask it for the codes that I could run uh, in R window to get a regression model. So I'm going to write a command here now. 
So I simply wrote here that provide uh, R script for a linear regression model and we run it. So suddenly here, we are going to now get uh, some R script with some explanations. So it's using the data met cards. We can view the data. So normally the head command we use to see the first few rows of the data. And here we could see how the model could be run, okay? And it gives us really nice interpretation of it. Sometimes the comments we get may not be exactly perfect. So when you try to implement it, there might be some things you have to change. But you know, like here, from here, if you understand the whole explanation, you will know actually how to implement this in R. I have been working with R for quite many years. So I actually very well understand uh, this script and I see that it's totally correct, okay? So Metcards is one of the data set that is already available in the R script. So we don't have to like load the data manually. So I'm just going to copy it and show you the implementation of it in R, okay? So I just paste it here and I could just select all of it and run it. And here we can see the results, okay? So here you can see in the console, normally we get the results of the regression and the plot here, we get it here, okay? So you see it works perfectly fine sometimes when we uh, get these codes. You can do similarly for different machine learning, forecasting different things and so on. So here in this uh, video, we mainly looked into these four applications that we can use using ChatGPT in supporting our research, but there could be many more applications. So I highly recommend not to use ChatGPT for writing in a research paper and articles. So don't do that. Don't use ChatGPT for generating text, but I highly recommend you to use ChatGPT or other generative tools for getting support in your research. So good luck with your research. Stay tuned and please subscribe to Research Hub. Good luck. Bye-bye.